I've got a mystery gift from the Notre Dame in Paris, and I'm going to open it for you. I have no idea what's in here, so this could be the worst video ever. That's coming up next. Let me explain. Princess the Cat threw me to maintain her pseudonymity, she's very touchy about the paparazzi, is a friend of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Two things. When I say Notre Dame, I'm referring to the cathedral in Paris, not the American football players in South Bend, Indiana. Second, I'm going to pronounce it like an American and just say Notre Dame because any attempts at French, authentic French pronunciations would just be an embarrassing failure. Well, how do Princess the Cat and I know that we are friends of the Notre Dame? Well, they sent me a card telling me so. Look, friends of the Notre Dame de Paris 2021, John Heaton. I am a legit card carrying friend of the Notre Dame. Now on the back, I won't show it to you because on the back are secret codes to unlock hidden vaults and reveal long lost treasures and secrets. No, just kidding. There's a calendar of 2021 on the back. So I guess I can always check and see if I'm a friend. Um, uh, let me see what's today. Yep. Still a friend of the Notre Dame. That's great. Well, how did Princess the Cat become a friend of Notre Dame? Surely you remember a few years ago when there was a major fire that destroyed Princess the Cat did a tiny fundraiser of to help the cathedral build because her fourth book, Princess the Cat Liberates Paris, takes place in Paris and the final climactic scene of her book takes place at the Notre Dame Cathedral. That was of course before the fire. So she felt somewhat indebted to the place. For a short time, she devoted all profits from sales of Princess the Cat Liberates Paris to help rebuild the Notre Dame. She made that donation and that made us friends of the Notre Dame. And I've got the card to prove it. What are the privileges of being a friend of the Notre Dame? Free access to airport lounges, discounts at French restaurants, free French fries at the fast food establishment of your choice, free L'Occitane lotion, or however you say it, free entrance to any art exhibit featuring Monet or Manet, free nights at five-star hotels in the French Riviera. No, you get none of those things. Instead, as a friend of the Notre Dame, all Notre Dame does as a friend is they repeatedly impose upon you by constantly asking you for more money. And they do it like they're doing you a favor. Now, what kind of friend only ever imposes upon you and makes you feel like it's for your own good? That sounds oddly like our relationship with cats. Cats repeatedly inconvenience us, impose upon us, run our homes, always demand more, and yet somehow we love them some friend. Don't tell Princess the Cat I said that. So finally, let's open this gift. Again, I am just now opening it, so I have no idea what this is. So let's check it out. Got me a knife here. Okay. And, ooh. Return address labels. Gotta love that. Return address labels. Uh, Dear John, when you read this letter, blah, 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 blah. Oh wow, look at that. We have uh, one card there of a stained glass thing. We got a postcard of a piece of art about the front. We got another type card, front of the Notre Dame. Close up, this nice looking gargoyle. All right, all in all, um, okay, I guess that's a little better friend than uh, in the past, I guess. Well, let's wrap up by discussing why Princess the Cat wanted to give towards the Notre Dame rebuild. Uh, it's not as if, you know, she really did it because she really wanted a friend or really expected anything out of giving money. Well, yes, it's featured in her books, but I mean, she's not friends with all the locations in her books. And it's not like there aren't more worthy causes to support. I think it's really because the Notre Dame is just an iconic masterpiece of art and architecture. And when you give towards its rebuild, 
uh, you kind of feel like you're its patron in, in some way. And so a really small donation makes it feel like you have a real hand in its restoration. So if you were to ever go see the Notre Dame Cathedral, you would look at it and you could say, I'm 0.00001% responsible for that artistic masterpiece. And I think that's why Princess the Cat was really drawn to help rebuild the Notre Dame Cathedral. If this is the first time you've met Princess the Cat, she's a snooty cat in a series of books, perfect for grades three through six, or cat lovers of any age. Check out links in the description below for paperbacks, audiobooks, and so on. And don't forget to subscribe and like Princess the Cat because Princess the Cat is awesome. And I will see you next time.